Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to do a live video to show y'all how I trace my images on a rock using a device, which is really, really cool. But I'm going to tag a couple people first. So I got Liz and I got Kathy and I got my mama and I got Bill. I got Sally, Felicia. Who is that? Beth McCord. I got to find y'all in here, so bear with me. Beth. Hello, people. I got to scroll through the list of people, so bear with me. I told people I would tag them, and I can't find them. Well, if you find Lisa on oh, the Oh, here. Way. There's a search button. Duh. Beth McCord. Okay, I got her. I'm going to tag you, Lisa, even though you got to go to work. And I'm going to tag Samara. Samara. Okay, I tagged a few of y'all. So let's <coughs> get started. Bear with me. I got a booger nose because the allergies are getting to me. So what I use is this nifty little thing here called an Osmo. It's got alcohol ink all over it, so you can see it's very well used. I actually got that on, where do you think, the Amazon. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Samira. Okay, I'm not going to do it on a rock. I'm just doing a piece of paper, and I got a really simple, simple image that I want to show y'all. So first thing you need, like I said, is the Osmo, and it comes with this mirror. <coughs> And you're going to need another device or a device. I usually use my phone. Kaysen has an Osmo. Awesome. <laughs> okay, let me pull it up on here because Ivy has to answer questions on the computer. Where are we? There we are. There we are. There. Device. Oh, turn it down. Or a device. I usually use my phone. Kason has an Osmo. Awesome. You hear the delay? It's pretty delayed. Okay. So we got the Osmo. This is Ivy's phone. It's an iPhone. And this is an Osmo for iPhone. They also have them for iPads. <clears throat> Here's my image. And there is an app that I downloaded. And it's called Camera Lucida. Can you see that? And yes, I'm wearing gloves because i got ugly hands. So I'm going to open that app. I might have to take these off. Let me take these off. I got ugly hands. Y'all can just deal with it. Got alcohol ink on them. Bite my nails. They're gross. Okay, so here is what it looks like after I open it. And I'm going to go to my library. And I'm going to pick a picture from my camera roll. That one. And there's my image. And now I'm going to put it in the Osmo to hold it. This nifty little mirror sits on top and then you're going to act like you're going to draw and then you're going to turn, whoops, hold on, I got to reverse my camera. So you're going to have to reverse your camera so that you're seeing what is down here. You see that? You see how I can see my picture down here? So I got it there. Then I'm going to hit draw. I'm going to make it very light. And then you can size your image. <laughs> Come on. Draw it. So there's my image. And it's translucent. You can see my hand behind it. So what you do is you follow along up here your pencil that you see down here. You see my pencil? So this is my pencil. I'm actually going to draw on the paper. Look, I'll put a big old E up here. But I'm actually drawing it on the paper. But I'm watching my hand through this app. So here's the hard part. This is why I picked such an easy picture because I'm holding my phone so that y'all can see what I'm doing. And it's going to be difficult because I'm going to be going back and forth. So with this app, 
you can actually zoom in to get lots of detail on an image to draw and it keeps it in perspective when you're drawing it down here. Uh oh, we don't want to watch that. <coughs> Shoot, hold on, we lost our, our thing. There we are. <coughs> Hear my booger nose? Okay, so let's start drawing. So I'm gonna let you pay attention to my cam my pencil on the screen. And this takes Diana. some this takes some getting used to. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna let Ivy hold the camera. Okay, this takes getting used to because it's like drawing without looking at your hand. So there's my circle. Now show the paper. There's my circle. It's not the best because I'm not trying to make it pretty. I could, but just for purposes of y'all learning how I do this. And then we're going to draw the petals. I'm very shaky. I have ice cream. <laughs> so I'm drawing the petals. Now, Ivy, you can scooch down to my down there to show as I draw. This is a very simple image, so this doesn't give you all the detail that you can actually do with this app. And you just draw it out. Mind you, this is a rock down here, but today it's paper. I'm not, not so good. It's, it's not very good because I'm not really concentrating, but then I'm going to draw it out. Here's this, and then I'm going to draw here. And, oh, let's zoom in because I need to make sure I get those, those leaves just right. So I'm zooming in, and I want to be able to draw like this. Oh, I can't see it anymore, so I'm going to move it so I can see it, so I can finish the image. And then I'm going to come down here. Don't pay attention to my ugly drawing. And I finish. Then I'm going to go back here and do the other pieces. And I'm not not looking. I'm not looking at my hand. I'm looking at my phone in front of me. Now I got to go back. Oh, and so, good. whoops. There is my image that I drew. Pretend this is a rock. But I drew that image by watching my hand and the pencil on the screen. Here. Oh, um, See, I'm doing this, and you can see it there. Alyssa said, Kaysen said it's beautiful, not ugly at all. Well, thank you, Kaysen. And then... Alicia, it's called an Osmo, so let me show you what that is. Hold on one second. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Uh, hold on. Hold this, Ivy. There's your beautiful so, drawing. Depending on what you want to. Let's see if this works. How do I get to the comments? It's down there. Let's see if those yeah, links work. Yeah, it came up. Came up <coughs> there's the Osmo and there's links to it. I don't know if those links are actually live, but they might not be. They're not live. Oh, yeah, they are. If you hover over it, it finally shows up. I'm looking at the comments on the computer and actually shows up what it is. So depending on if you use an, an iPad or an iPhone, what you actually need to get. And the app again, let me show you what the app's called. It is Camera Lucida, and you get that from the App Store. It's like seven bucks, but it's well worth it because then when you start getting into fancier images that you want to do, that let's say you, you can't draw real good, you can actually, let me find an image. Let's say here's one. You can resize it. Mm. You're going to draw it. So Mara said... Is it only for iPhone or can I get it for Samsung? Uh, you'd have to look and see. Just go do a, a search for, or actually click that link and see if it takes you to um, the page. And then at the bottom, you know how it says suggestions for you? You can actually scroll through or do a search and see if, it, if it's for a Samsung. Okay, but here's, here. here's a colored one. Hey, Kathy. We just did that real quick. Um, I'll show you again. I'm not looking at my hand. I'm looking at the app and I'm doing this really quick. 
that's the ugliest circle I've ever done, one-handed. But I'm gonna draw the petal, and you can see here how I'm drawing the petal. And you come back down. So if you're doing something that has a lot of detail, you can zoom in really tight on the image. See, if this had a whole bunch of detail in it, I would be able to see how big my pencil is now. That's how it keeps your perspective of what you're drawing. Oops. But that's, um, that's a good way for you guys to learn how to get an image on your rock that you're doing if you can't freehand things. Who is laughing at me profusely? Is that Liz? Is Liz even watching? Anyway, so that's, that's what I wanted to show y'all. If you have any questions, um, comment below. You can change your translucent so you can see what you're doing. What? Show them my... Oh, I have to show you what Ivy made for me. It is amazing, Cindy. It... When you, if you get one of these devices and actually play around with it and use it, it, it takes some getting used to, let me tell you, because the app is backwards. So you have to get trained on not looking at what you're drawing down here. You have to pay attention to what you're doing on the screen. And that's, um, I tried to show my little sister Liz how to use it. She, she did it, but she said, I don't like that. I'd rather just draw it because it's, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, Emily, Osmos are great. So last night, Ivy made me a cup, a pencil holder for my work. Look at that. We got a mug at the Dollar Tree, and she painted her pretty little flowers on it for me to put pencils in at work. Since you can't drink out of it because it's got acrylic on it, because if you wash it, they'll come off, but I wanted to show y'all how cute that is. Okay. So... That's all I got for you today. Um, I might do some painting for me and concentrate on not having to hold a phone and maybe watch Alyssa's little store shopping, whatever she's got going on tonight. She sent me a couple of requests, but if y'all have any questions, just comment on the Facebook page and I will come back and check it. Yeah, Ivy did a good job on that, didn't she? I don't know, everybody at work is gonna want one. Okay. Isn't that pretty? acrylics they're so pretty here's one that i just did and it's no she did it freehand she didn't use the osmo i just did this right now all righty i will see y'all next time thanks for watching bye bye bye